Hello. Hello, is this Tate? Hey, Tate, yes, this is, is Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. I got my good buddy Tommy in the studio. Say hi, Tommy. Hey, what's going on, Tate? How you doing, bud? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good um, morning. How are you doing today? You sound like you're out fishing already. I'm doing great. I'm fishing, so I'm doing good. There you go. How's the fishing this morning? Uh, it's been a little slow for myself. My buddy's doing super good, but uh, it's been slow for me. I've caught a few small catfish, but nothing to brag about. How long have you been out there? Uh, since about 5.30, so about two hours now. Eh, it's not too bad. Oh, man, you got to beat the heat. It's not too bad. But any right. day is a good day on the water. So welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. We're spreading happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. Fishing is therapeutic for a lot of people, so we appreciate you coming on and sharing your fish story. That's we right. get a lot of listeners from around the world. We have a good following in uh, France, if you could believe it. Oui, oui. Because Tommy says croissant. Croissant. I guess it's the way he says it. I don't <laughs> Cause, know. Because I do love my French bakery food. So yeah. They figured that guy looks there like a chef. Or I'm not just, a chef. I am just the guy that eats all the food. He well, they see Tommy and they're like, "You hey, and me both." That's right. <laughs> see, see, Tate knows. It's all good. You look like a culinary experience. Like I, they're I, like I, that guy is a that, culinary. Yeah, man. That's right. That guy knows his food. He knows what he likes. And then, that's it. That's it. So that's what truth. we do. Most go. of it is a spread around the nation, and so uh, people like to hear the fish stories. And you have a few. We saw just. The amount of catfish, the catfish backpack that you have on. Oh, that was a massive heap So of we fish want right to there. hear where you caught those fish if you want to give up the location. The or bait make that one you up. the bait that you were using and then the size of it, uh, any of those photos that you sent in. For those of you listening, we're talking to Tate Pratt. He's out of he fishes out of Southern California. And I believe he's in the Bakers, Bakersfield right. area, so we're gonna hear from him. This is your podcast. Let's uh let's take it away. Your, it's your turn. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I fish out of Kern County, um, mm-hmm. typically south of uh, what we call Gulf Fork, Gulf Fork Gate. Okay. Um, but we technically or typically fish anywhere from uh, Los Banos area all the way down to Kern County. Um, as of right now, we're south of Gulf Fork, and uh, we're targeting catfish today. Uh, we're using sardines, just cut bait sardines. Nice. Um, you know, five octopus hooks. Uh, 12 pound uh, braid and uh, we've been pretty successful at this one particular spot uh yeah that's what we're doing out here today nice nice now yeah see you're using sardine we usually well we're gonna have sardines coming up this this next yeah. this next so but, uh, what should we call we uh i usually fish with mackerel so and i, I usually do pretty good okay with yeah here and uh because so, we're in uh, southern cal like orange county and uh, when we catch, okay. you know, which isn't really much further from you and much different anyway, but the mackerel hit pretty good out here. And, and also, uh, believe it or not, I always have good luck on uh, night crawlers for some reason. I should give that a try. I've, I've used anchovies. I've been pretty successful on that. Yeah. Um, I haven't tried mackerel at all. Oh, mackerel, mackerel, if you uh, if you do it right and you, you cut it up and you let it marinate for, you know, just overnight kind of thing. And it's ready for you in the morning. Really? Yeah, just uh, just soak it in some. Uh, uh, there's a company that we work with uh, called Bite On, and they have a like it's called a Cajun catfish uh, 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 dip or attract it. And uh, you pour, sure. you know, just squirt some in a bowl and put that mackerel in there. Let it sit there overnight, and uh, you'll you'll kill them in the morning. Usually, I mean, over here anyway. So let's tell our listeners Hi, about bye. braided line. You're using braided line. When's the best? When do you, does if somebody's not quite um, familiar with fishing for catfish, when would they? When and why would they use braided versus just what comes with their their uh, combo that they bought? I got to be honest with you, man. Uh, I've only been fishing these aqua ducks for about a year now. Um, I'm super amateur at this. I don't really have any any technical super technical skills or knowledge Neither um, does Paul. i just prefer braided bra- line i've been using i've been using mono for a long time yeah um i like the mono uh i just recently started using braided line uh seems pretty sturdy and tough uh some of these catfish are fight pretty good yeah and mm-hmm. it, seems, it just seems to work for me that's um, that's sometimes that's all it's about yeah it's... you know lucky bandana or uh 
you know, Tommy wears high heels sometimes. <laughs> like he, I wear, uh, he, there he's you like, or he'll take it with him because he is. That's got to be difficult. It's it's a little yeah, difficult. It, difficult ta- it, it takes some skill, but you should see my calves. Anyway, uh, <laughs> right. No- <laughs> <laughs> Paul's so full of himself right well, now. Well, he was he's playing with I don't know what he's playing with, I, so I make I, sure he's paying attention. It must have been something. I like take it. away all the pens and everything he can touch cuz he'll he I, like, I he, click pens and stuff like that while we're on the air, so he takes everything away from me. I'm like a I'm like a scolded child. But we're wow. we're okay. not pro fishermen <laughs> yeah. at all. So our fishing tips are I mean, we don't. We didn't really have an answer for that either. Well, in, in your defense, we have braided line here in, in that your we defense, sent out. You haven't but we caught in a fish since I don't know when. So well, I'm talking about you know when you use a braided line and whatnot. I I think Using you could bra- correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Tate. But sometimes people use braided line when there's like if it's going to be around logs or something that it might break or just the way you use it if it, the, it's a tough fish and you might break the line you know they get quite big especially right. the, the fishes that you're the catfish that you have in those photos you need a pretty tough line mm-hmm. there if you're going to pull those in absolutely well we fish absolutely yeah we're pulling go ahead what, what's that I, we don't we oh, i don't we're pulling anywhere from 25 inch to 30 inch catfish and i've just found that that braided line is uh, a little a little more sturdy for them um well, here, i'm not worried here, about them fraying, here, fraying. here's the thing it, when when you when you get so th- so heavy on the mono line you end up it, the line becomes almost thick and wiry so using, yeah. using a braided line you'll actually be able to get a lot more strength out of it and it's a lot lighter and flowier there's your answer paul thank you for that if you Are you going to pass out now? I feel like Tommy's going to no, pa- no. pass out because he actually, he went in a different mode. Like he went into think mode. You just saw his no, face. I was waiting for you to shut up so I can answer it's like, the question. He was focused for a second. It's like, you. I think you're going to black out. Did there's, you black out? There's a break off point. So like when you're, when you're fishing for like trout and stuff like that, you want to use like a two pound, four pound type test on the mono or the floor. Right. And it's clear, it's it's super lightweight and everything else. But once you hit a certain point, the mono line or the regular fishing line gets so wiry and so thick. No, nope. okay. That you switch to the braided, and the braided becomes. It's Thank lighter. you for that, Tommy. You're welcome. Let's get I, back. I'd have to agree with you on that one. Thank yeah. you. Let's... Thank you, Tate. See, Tate, Tate's team Tommy already. He's like, look, Tommy knows what the heck he's talking about. We're Paul, gonna get back to the other ridiculous. fish in those. <laughs> And those I'm taking sides here. Exactly. <laughs> See, you, you notice how he's switching the the story now. He's like, all right, we're we're done with that, Tommy. Well, he's got more fish in the in the I photos he's that he sent in. Photo. He's got some he got some saltwater fish in there. We want to hear about those where you went and uh, a little bit about that uh, fish story. So typically, a couple times a year, we will go out of Newport off of the uh, out of Thunderbird. Uh, ah, yes. Blocker. Yes. On the Thunderbird, and uh, next time you're in Newport, give us a call. We have a great time out there. We usually go September, October, yep. and uh, we target uh, yellowtail, yellowtail or uh, tuna, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a good time, man. We enjoy going out there out of Newport. Nice. Next time you're in town, uh, hit us up because uh, we're, we're that's right, about we're ten right. minutes from us. Not even, dude. It's like five. Five like, minutes. No kidding. We live right next to Davy's Locker. Yeah, yeah. We're about five minutes. Five ten oh, minutes wow. away. So next time you're in town, hit us up. We'll we'll meet you out there on the boat. We'll go and have some fun. I went out once yeah, at a Davies Locker, and I'm not kidding you. I won the I won the jackpot with a mackerel. It was wow. just that kind of day was, for everybody on it, the boat. It was so, dude. You were you were seriously the equivalent of bringing a banana on the boat. You were just bad luck. It's just. Like, <laughs> It's it like, was just that slow it's like, it's that like day. There, somebody would. Ask, there are people out there that would rather have the banana than Paul. They're like, mm, right. I'll take the banana. At least I can eat that. Any days on the water, <laughs> and, and, you know, a day on the water is is, is great. It doesn't even matter. No, I, you know, I had fun. Yeah, it was my birthday, up. and I, I was, you know. I think the last time I went on Davy's Locker was when I got stung by the sculpin. <laughs> I think that was the last time. Oh, ouch. Yeah, we were uh, we were chasing barracuda, and we had already went uh, sculpin fishing, and they we, you know, we put our sculpin in the in the sacks, and I went over to the the live well, and we were chasing the barracuda. We weren't anchored off, and I stepped, and the bo- the boat rocked one, one way, and the one of the spines came was sticking out of the bag and poked me right in the back of the calf. 
Well, there went the end of my. That was the end of my fishing trip. There was some heavy swells. <laughs> oh, dude! That day, and yeah. Tommy's a big guy, so once you get just gravity movement in one way, there's no stopping. <laughs> <laughs> there's no stopping them. Nice. <laughs> sure, yeah, it's momentum. It's that, exactly, going. exactly. So I ended up getting stuck, and then I spent the rest of the time in the galley just like, I think I had ice, and then I had hot water, one for like the swelling and one for the pain. Because the guy, the guy in the galley Rotating? Like, yeah, he's like, oh, the heat will take away the pain, but it makes the swelling worse, and the ice will take away the swelling, but it makes the pain worse. And I'm like, I'm sitting there rotating, and it hurts so bad, so <laughs> quick, man. I, I it was one of those days for me, just as a, just watching. I mean, I was laughing at first because it was it was hilarious. Like he almost fell over. Sir, but was then... he in heels that day? <laughs> I, I was, I was just, just, I was just wearing my okay. stilettos that day. But I mean, it, you know, I I tried to spike the fish back. It didn't work. No. Once he was in pain, it's kind of hard to laugh because you're like he's actually in physical pain. You can see it in his face, and it's like you feel bad for laughing. But it was, it was, it was. It got funnier for me because, like, it was getting infected. It wasn't infected. It was just, it was swelling. But, uh, yeah, no, Tate, see what I mean? Like, sometimes having a banana on the boat isn't as bad as having Paul. Having but we Paul love Davy's Lock. There you go. They're not a part of the, you know, they, they we, oh, yeah, no, we, we just, just do like, it out of leisure. Yeah, that's our leisure thing. That's kind of right, fun. It's right here, so we do go out of there. And we fish nearby, too. There's a, there's a good uh, surf fishing nearby yep. that area as well. So, and we love that you, the fishing is so good. We're so close. We're going to eventually head out to you and go fishing by, you know, wherever that's the aqueduct. We have never yeah, he's, been. He's over near Los Banos. We and, passed Los Banos when we were well, heading you, up to Oregon. Yeah. When you come by this way, let me know. I'll put you on some fish out here on the aqueduct. There you go. See? Yeah. Go. We're definitely going to do that. And so tell everybody who's listening, we're talking to Tate Pratt, how to find you on your Instagram handle, if you have a YouTube, and where, where they could find uh, Tate Pratt. Uh, I do have an Instagram handle. It's Tatemus Maximus, uh, T-A-T-I-M-U-S, underscore Maximus, M-A-X-I-M-U-S. Okay. And then uh, I don't have a YouTube channel yet. I'm actually working on getting some content. I've been working on it for the last... Uh, month or so um as soon as i get that rolling i will definitely let you know and uh start putting that out there nice yeah for coming on the show we're actually we allow people to promote their youtube so we're definitely put as soon as you get that we'll have you back on the show so you could grow your youtube and people love watching videos it's uh they do man i know i do yeah i enjoy it but yeah, no, definitely send the photos. Have uh, you know, keep sending them in. We'll get you on the radio show some more. Uh, next time you come on in here uh, or come on down here, we'll we'll meet up with you and we'll go we'll go. We'll fishing. head out that way. I see we'll, we'll I see a lot of way. photos out there yeah. um, and how great the fishing is. So we need we need to head out that way. We just got you got you got to stay about twenty feet away from me though, so I can actually. We're gonna catch send fish. you some free. St- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna send you some free stuff uh, for just coming on the show. Yeah, I I know you're with your buddy. He's welcome to come on the show and just do exactly what you did. We're gonna we'll send him free stuff too. We always love having anglers on the show. We're just two regular, uh, two regular we're too, we're anglers. Two, we're two idiots behind a microphone. To be completely honest. Well, that's what they tell us. <laughs> Apparently, we're relatable. Yeah, well, it sounds yeah. like a good time, Jeff. They're they're like hey, you guys are relatable, and I'm like really. Me? It's a nice way to say you're dumb, me, but we me love. We don't being... know how to use radio equipment. <laughs> Apparently, Tommy only presses buttons. <laughs> I do only press buttons. That's all I do. We're gonna send you some free stuff. Just sent offline. Send us your mailing address. The box is already ready to go. We just need to put a mailing and ship it out today. So we'll send that to you, and then as soon as you get your YouTube YouTube uh, content up, we'll, we'll we're gonna. We'll they should come back on. Too. We'll yeah. support that. So we'll have you back on the show from all of us here at Outsider Tackle Box Radio Show and Podcast. Yep. Tight, Tight lines. lines. Fish, fish more, more, man. Have a great Saturday and good luck out there, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. All right. All right. Take Thanks, care, buddy. Bye. Bye. Bye.